Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hi guys, Rhonda here. And I wanna show you a new app I found if you're trying to run your Etsy shop while also being the designer, the marketer, the customer service rep, and the SEO expert, I feel you, I do. But you know what? What if you had a whole team of smart little bots to help you run things with you, and they actually remembered your shop's style, your tone, your niche, and the types of products you sell? Well, guess what? That's what my shop buddy does. It's an all-in-one AI platform built for Etsy sellers. And it comes with eight custom bots that are trained to help you grow and manage your shop more efficiently without burning out. I know the screen says seven bots, but there's eight. A new one was added just recently and they just haven't updated the main page yet. So let me get logged in here and I will show you what's on the inside. Okay, we're all inside here now. And I know I told you that there are eight different bots. We have the general bot, the shop buddy, image prompt engineer, social media marketing expert, SEO optimizer, digital product guru, listing enhancer, and your customer service bot. But before we get into those, I wanna show you the main features, okay? The things that really make this special. First of all, you have your vault. Anything that your custom bots any information they give you, you can store them here in your vault. Any SEO rewrites, any product prompts, any customer replies. You can all store them for future use, neatly organized in different cards, color-coded, with tags, so you can use them over and over again. Additionally, not only can you add the information that you get from these bots, but you can add your own information to the vault. If you have a favorite image prompt that you wanna save and you know you wanna use again, add it, just enter a title, the prompt, tag, image, everything, and just save it. It is here in your vault, all right? It's amazing that everything is right here for you. But the long-term memory, the brain, the memory bank, this is where the magic really happens. Let me get rid of all this stuff in here real quick so I can show you a little better and we will just start from scratch, okay? You can give your bot a name, your shop buddy. Mine's name is Fred. You can name yours whatever you want. This is where you will train the tool to know you. You enter your info once and the bots will remember it moving forward. You can add your shop name. So let's say Rhonda's digital file shop is my shop name. Um, you can say things like, I make boho sublimation PNG designs, uh, my best selling products are wind spinner designs in a water color style, and you can save that. And then we can say my tone is friendly, fun, and casual. Oops, my tone of voice is friendly, fun, and casual. Save that. Uh, the file types you offer, I offer PNG, 300 DPI image files. You can save that. And my favorite AI image generators are Midjourney, Chrome AI, and Ideogram. Okay, save that. Uh, you can put in here, my price range is, say, 250 to five dollars and have it save that um, you can put in customer facts uh, keywords you often use preferred prompt format listing style just all kinds of information about you and your shop so that when it gives you responses 
it knows exactly who you are and what you do, okay? So now that we have this basic information in here, let's go check out the bots. This general bot is, think of it as um, pretty much your micro version of ChatGPT in here for you. Sure, the conversation starters are related to your business, but you can really ask this bot anything. Um, how can I boost sales with, oh no, let's not do that. Let's ask it, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow in Florida? Just anything, and it's gonna give you, all right? Uh, specify which part of Florida, let's say, Orlando, okay? And it says tomorrow it's gonna to be high of 82, low of 65, 10% chance of rain. So this is just your general bot. If no matter what you wanna ask it, it will give you the information. My shop buddy. This one is here to give you general ideas, strategy and general shop help, okay? Um, so let's ask this one. I sell digital sublimation designs, what are three smart ways I can boost sales this month without running ads? And it's gonna tell me Fred is typing, so he's thinking, and here we go. We'll scroll up to the top, and he's given me a lot of different ideas. Uh, make sure my listings are fully optimized, uh, shoppers are increasingly using specific keywords to find exactly what they need. So, you know, make sure you focus on enhancing the SEO of your current best sellers. Um, here he's given me some primary keywords to use, sublimation design, PNG, digital download, boho sublimation, watercolor, wind spinner designs, because that is what I told him that I sell. Then he gives me a checklist, review and update titles, enhance descriptions, refine tags for better search visibility. I can create bundles and different offers, and these are all tailored to what I already told him I make, okay? Uh, and down here, engage with your audience, increase engagement with your customers through social media and email marketing. Uh, he'll tell me, post regularly, send out email newsletters, run a contest or giveaway. So that helps me just general, right? So next is our image prompt engineer, okay? So I want to, I want a prompt for a boho sunflower clip art. I want a prompt for a boho sunflower clip art image in watercolor style. Okay, and now it is going to generate some prompts for me, and it will also give me example images. So I can just add these to my vault. If I'm not ready to use it now, but I wanna use it later, he's given me three different ones. Um, I think I like this one. So I'm just gonna click over here and add it to my vault. And the tag is image prompt. I'm gonna leave that the way it is and just click add to vault. And now that is saved in my vault. We can go check it out here quick, right there it is. And there's our sample image and our prompt, okay? Now our next one is our social marketing expert. This one helps you caption ideas, promo strategies, content for your shop. Um, so let's say I need help promoting my farmhouse kitchen towel sublimation designs. And it will now help me come up with ways to promote this, right? And it'll take just a second. Here we go. And it's telling me Social media strategies, here we go. Visually appealing photos, behind the scenes, show the sublimation process, your design inspiration, packaging, uh, feature customers who have purchased and styled your towels, interactive polls, Q&A sessions, collaborations, uh, hashtags that I might use on social media to drive traffic, 
Pinterest. It's telling me to create some visually appealing pins with clear product images and descriptions, organize my pins into relevant boards, such as farmhouse kitchen decor, sublimation designs, gift ideas, um, engagement tactics, regularly repin content from other relevant boards to stay active and engaged, leave thoughtful comments on other people's pins to build connections. And down here are content ideas, a day in the life, show a day in your life as a designer, uh, style your kitchen, share different ways to style your farmhouse kitchen towels, uh, customer spotlight, and then marketing campaign concept, concepts, farmhouse refresh, promote your towels as the perfect way to refresh a farmhouse kitchen for spring, your target audience, homeowners looking to update their kitchen decor, and a call to action, shop the new collection and use code SPRING20 for 20% off. So it gives you different marketing campaign ideas. It gives you some image prompts. That one didn't generate right, but that's okay. And here's another one before, after, you know, it just gives you great ideas on how to market your products. All right. Um, next is the SEO optimizer. And all I have to do is say something like, here are my current title and tags. And I'll put in here fall gnome tumbler wrap 20 ounce PNG. And it will rewrite this for me. It will give me better tags and titles. Here we go. Optimized title, fall gnome tumbler wrap, autumn sublimation design. Gives me three different options. Here's 13 tags that you could use uh, keyword expansion. Here's uh, some additional keywords that you might be able to pop in there for uh, targeting some maybe other buyers that you might not normally get. And, and here it's telling you about Etsy search algorithm, uh, how it prioritizes listings with relevant keywords. Um, since it's currently April, keep in mind that fall themed items might not be as popular right now. And commercial use, if your designs allow for it, be sure to clearly state this in your title and tags. So it gives you some really good ideas. And these keywords, again, we can save these to our vault, tag ideas, hit enter, and save that. So now these are saved in our vault so we can come back to them later. Our next one is the digital product guru. This one is an idea machine for new products, for new bundles, for seasonal offers, okay? Um, let's say, let's do, I want to create a spring themed clip art bundle that's not overdone. What are three fresh ideas for your new digital designs I could launch next month and we'll see what it tells me all right and it gave me whimsical garden gnomes clip art adorable garden gnomes in spring attire uh, gnomes are perennially popular uh, we could do that watercolor style uh, niche is gardeners crafters and those who love whimsical designs springtime insects with a twist Clip art featuring insects like bees, butterflies, ladybugs, but with unique patterns, textures, or unexpected colors. It says move away from the typical floral focus of spring, offering something different. Uh, play with boho patterns and watercolor effects. And the niche would be designers looking for unique elements, educators, and anyone creating nature-themed products. And then lastly is abstract spring shapes and patterns collection of abstract shapes lines and patterns inspired by spring colors and forms uh, why because it offers versatility for various design projects and appeals to a modern aesthetic and again it gives us you know how to use your skills combine your watercolor style with geometric and organic shapes and our niche for this would be graphic designers web designers and those creating digital backgrounds so it gives us product ideas, which is fantastic. 
The next one is our listing enhancer. This one takes your existing listings and makes them way more appealing and SEO friendly. Okay, so let's say, help me improve this listing description. This is a set of five retro flower PNGs for sublimation, high res, and ready to use. Rewrite to be more appealing and SEO friendly. Okay, and now it will rewrite this for us. Okay, uh, add a touch of whimsy to your creations with these beautiful retro flower designs. This set includes five unique high resolution PNG files, perfect for all your sublimation products, projects. Instantly download and start creating. And then it gives the features, instant download, high resolution, vert versatile use, boho watercolor style, retro flower designs. Let your imagination bloom with these gorgeous retro flower PNGs. Perfect for adding a touch of boho beauty to any project. And then it gives you some keywords that you might be able to use. So that helps you with nicer looking descriptions. And finally, we have our customer service bot. All right. This is fantastic for drafting professional sounding responses to our customers in Etsy. I know a lot of us struggle with how to respond to someone. All right, so let me just put this in here. I am going to act as if I am a customer, okay? I purchased your uh, sun, Sunflower PNG design and I can't find it to download. And now this will give us a professional sounding response to them. Hi there, I'm sorry you're having trouble finding your Sunflower PNG download. Let's get this sorted out right away. First, could you please check these places to see if you can locate the file? Your Etsy account, go to you, top right corner, then purchases and reviews, find the order and look for a download files button next to it. In your email, Etsy should have sent you an email with a download link shortly after your purchase. So it gives them ways that they can find this themselves. And then it says, if you've checked those places and still can't find the file, please don't worry. Just reply to this message and I'll be happy to resend the file to you directly. And it gives you a very professional sounding response to give to your customer, okay? I absolutely, I think the customer service bot is probably one of my favorite features just because, you know, we can all spend a lot of time dealing with customer service and this just makes it quick and easy. And I know we have all had those rude customers who just start off aggressive and you just paste that message in here and your bot will give you a very professional way to respond to them. So you don't have to worry if you're sounding, um, you're not letting your emotions get the most of you and possibly responding in a way that you shouldn't. This is always going to give you a professional response. All right, so what's great about this too is the cost. It is $15 a month. I mean, you are getting eight different bots trained with a digital vault and a memory bank that works like a second brain, all for less than what most people spend on coffee in a week. So listen, if you've been wishing for a tool that actually gets you and your shop, you might wanna give my shop buddy a try. Once you set up the vault in memory, it becomes a whole creative workflow system. It's not just another AI tool. This one speaks Etsy, it speaks digital files, and mostly it speaks your language. So. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. While you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.